So as human beings, we, we simply think that we need to rely on our random and un unpredictable thoughts and emotions to really function as a human being, to be able to, to be in the world, to be able to relate to other people, relate to ourselves. We really think that we are dependent on what we think and feel. What about if that wasn't true? What about if there is something about us as human beings that simply know instinctively how it is to be a human being? Instinctively knowing how to be and act without needing to think about it. That's what I found out about my life. And I know there are many here that are finding out the same thing. That really, we can truly be ourselves naturally and instinctively, and we don't need to think about it. <coughs> there is something about us that is innate. It's an innate knowing on how to be human. There is an innate wisdom and in, an innate intelligence. This intelligence that is completely open, not locked up in certain kind of people. <coughs> it's an intelligence that simply, by tapping into it, you have the freedom, the love, the wisdom, the clear thinking, all the qualities that you were dreaming of is available. So the, the only thing we need to do is for short moments simply relax with all the ideas we have about what it is to be human. That's radical, but that's what we do. All the ideas you have right now about what is it to be me, what is it to be human, there we stop and we relax into the deep knowing that we know it already. There is nothing to learn, we know it instinctively. We only need to remember it. We only need to remember how to rely on it. This intelligence that is already present has never gone anywhere. So it is as simple as that. And why is it difficult? Why do we need to train? It's just because we are so tempted to follow all the ideas and following all these thoughts and emotions that we simply can call data or data streams. It's so tempting to believe that we are what we are thinking right now and we are what we are feeling right now, rather than looking at the source of everything. But it's quite obvious, isn't it? Because if you were all stop thinking right now, we know that we don't stop functioning. Your heart is still beating. You're still here. Your body is still here, even if you don't think. So we really come to see when we, we train up in relying on open intelligence that so much energy is released and it's such a relief when we can meet each datum that we experience with a steadfast commitment that right now with this datum I'm not gonna indulge in it I'm not gonna avoid it I'm not gonna replace it I'm not even gonna look at it I'm not gonna even bother about it Instead, I'm just going to relax with it and let it flow on by. This is what we commit to in every moment. Then we see for ourselves that all that we experience, all the data streams, simply are like a flight path of a bird in the sky, leaving no trace. All the traces we thought were left in the sky left in our self, in our experience, but just an imagination, 
just like a rainbow. It's not really there. We think it's there, but actually there is no traces anywhere. So this is the only way to truly discover the love of self. If you commit to not indulge, avoid or replace any of your datum, you will see for yourself that you are free to love. Free to love yourself. Free to love everyone. The open intelligence as the perfect love is not locked up anywhere. Not in a special relationship, a special person. Not in special states of yourself. So it's in that meeting point where you meet eat each and every datum with this complete perceptual openness, with this open heart and open mind where you don't have any expectations because you know that you are safe and clear and stable no matter what comes up in life. No matter what the datum is that is in your perception right now and in the next moment and in the next moment, you know that you are completely at home. Where in this moment you have nothing to fear and nothing to hope for, nothing to seek. What more in life would we like? To think we could get it from another person or a special place or a thing or anything, any antidote. We know it not, never lasts. I mean, relationship is such a great place to see this. I know for myself, I've been married, I've been single, I had lovers, I, it's all kinds. <laughs> And there, just to look at my own experience, I know that there was none of these experiences where I said, oh, wow, this is it. Wow, now I have it. There's no more longing for something else. I never experienced it. That's what it is to get real. I mean, I didn't. I had the most beautiful marriage and I still think at that time I thought that, oh, no, 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 this isn't enough. Must be something more or being single, all the dramas of finding someone. Oh, it, it's, you know, we all know it, but we still don't want to believe it, right? Because it's to get real and that's kind of painful when we see all the illusions and dreams of life just... <laughs> but in that pain we are safe. In that pain there is so much power. That's the pain to really connect to yourself first of all, but to everyone. I mean, to be free in each moment, to meet, meet each datum with an open heart and an open mind is the biggest love affair you can ever have. And it never looks a certain way, so it's very exciting as well. <laughs> it never looks a certain way. But it's your knowing that you are safe and powerful and that you want to, to contribute with your life to something bigger than arranging and micromanage your own datum. <laughs> it's kind of limiting and boring, you know, when you kind of relax with all your own stories of your life, you just simply see that, wow, there's so much more to do in life. Wow, I don't want to be in that Nina arranging her life so it can be best for me. <laughs> it starts to get boring. So when we have all these ideas of what we want to do with our life, all the plans for the future, it's, it's so much energy in that. And, and I am a big planner. And you know, we have all different habits in our life. Some people never planned before and now they find themselves just being masters of planning. Some people couldn't live their life without plans because they felt like they didn't have control. I was one of them. So for people like me, it's been good to just really, wow, it's also safe to be without plans. So we can just test with it, but we are not dependent on any of this. But plans are really good. We can make plans and, and we can make plans 
with relying on open intelligence with short moments and we see that we're not dependent on specific results for our well-being. <coughs> so we can just go step by step and also in relationship with our trainer. And really that is what it comes down to with, with all that we, we do in life. Like with our grumpiness or with the landlord that we we feel that we, we have all these data streams around and, you know, we take short moments, really, and we see that we are not responsible for other people's data. So if you want to empower other people, we empower other people by taking responsibility for our own life. And by standing up for that and relying on open intelligence, we immediately transmit and empower everyone around us. That's all we need to do in all relationships. And again, that doesn't exclude anything. We might decide that when we feel like being grumpy and we don't want to have this, you know, spilled over to everyone we meet that day, we might decide to be home and that's perfect as well. So there is no fixed way of doing this. So I really see that by just showing up to this training, my life cannot even be compared to how my life was before. I can't even remember that I had this inner war against myself all the time, comparing myself to myself, comparing myself to everyone else. What a waste of my precious life energy. When I know now deeply, with the support of my trainer, with the support of all of you, with the community together, to see that I'm not limited by these random, fleeting, unpredictable thoughts and emotions. So again and again, just committing back to that fact about myself. And to be humble, to see that this takes some training up. This takes some getting used to. So if we feel like, you know, now I've been practicing one year, two year, three year, four year, five year, I don't know, you know, I feel that now I'm totally free in all my data streams. So now I can get together with someone or now I can do this and that. Only we can know it with ourselves. But for sure to, to practice, to rely on open intelligence, it's a life in investment. It's a life insurance. You can forget all other insurances. <laughs> it's a life insurance. So why not invest over time and energy for some years to really training it up? To think that it doesn't need training is an extreme datum. <laughs> it needs training as anything else in life. And that's where we get real. That's where we really see what the Four Mainstays truly, truly is. It's an infrastructure for a lifestyle where you are completely empowered to be free in the immediacy of any datum appearing in your life. So it's a support system and an infrastructure that really guides you on the way. So why not take full advantage of all four of them? That's what I've done for three and a half years. simple and easy, you know. I just said, I'm not going to believe in any of my doubts anymore. I'm not going to believe in any of my resistance or any of my random thoughts about anything in life. I know less and less and I'm so happy about that. I'm so happy about that. My power is really not dependent on what I'm thinking. 
So I'm so happy to use the four mainstays without having any expectations of how that support should look like because it's beyond any conventional support you ever had in your life. It's not the support that you, you think you know how it is. Never. It's beyond all conventions. It's beyond all reifications. So thank you for being here because it shows that you're using it. <laughs>